Hi, welcome back. I'm Nana here. In today's session, uh, we are going to have a discussion regarding a yeah, back-to-back by operation, which where my student was facing a problem. So both of us uh, tried to identify the problem, but we couldn't do it now. So I'm going to explain about what exactly it is now. And then if you find any solution, please uh, inform me to one of my uh, contacts, actually. Right? You can even write to me at my mail ID at nana.oraclenana.com or otherwise you can even contact me at their mobile or WhatsApp. This is number now, 9848-67924. <clears throat> so I'll be very happy to receive your suggestions because we are stuck on a problem and then uh, it's a, a, a client's uh, problem. And so we are now provided a workaround, but uh, that is uh, not happy also. And we have to give a solution for this, for the solution. So I'll now go there and have a look at it now. What I can issue. So the first activity is and now to demonstrate it, I will now go on them and create a category actually. I'll now give a category. I'll be explaining it as and then I do it now. So go there. You click on this, you go to the search, and then I go to the manage item, manage functional catalog. So I go there, manage functional catalog. So here I'm going to create a category <clears throat> and that to the planning area. So you should not create a category on order entry area. It's only for the sales orders, but you should do it for the what's called on the planning area. You have to go on the create it now. <clears throat> so go there. Everything is now coming over there. There are plenty of categories that are created, but this is not the correct way of doing it now. Fine. I've already again and again told the people. But now we go there and then try to sort it out on this now. Fine. Just click on the sort. So there is a sort now, sort descending. <clears throat> I don't know for a sort as a name. I click on sort as a name in the functional area. So we have a planning area over here. So the planning, we have to do it now. And open the planning catalog. So when I sort it, here like this now, click on the planning catalog. This is for the functional area planning. So here, let us now go on and create a category. <coughs> so if you expand it, I will be getting it now. So we have created a category over here. Click on plus now. Let me create a category. So I will know the category name is A01 underscore computers. So it will take copy it. And I click on the category code, the category name gets copied over here on the description. And then that's it. And click on create by which we are now completed the planning category on this one. <coughs> so go there. Give us a one close And then now we will now create an item. So we are going to create an item for a Back to back by operation. Actually. So let's go there and then create the item. <clears throat> so click on that and then come over to go to the home icon and then you go to the product management and then product information management, which we are now going to write. Okay, click on the product management and then go to the product information management. So then create an item. The items are created in the 000 org. I'm working on the vision actually. So click on it and then we'll now create an item. So click on create it. I will now put the master of the 000, which is vision operations actually. And the name of the organization is operations. So, okay, it's not coming over. Like, fine, click on the item class. I'm not going to go to the root item class. So, let us accept the default templates, uh, whatever is popping up now. Then I'll now go ahead and then I'll continue to this coming for click on for it. So, this item is going to be a back to back by item. So for which you are going to configure it now. So it's T01 underscore B2B by right now. So I'm now going to <coughs> create this item now for a back to back by operation from right copy to come to the description. So back to back by now. <coughs> okay. So click on specifications and then here we'll go on and have a look at the specifications. And we already applied the finished goods template. And then always give the back type as null, no fine. If you're not going to go for a manufacturing, it's preferable to have the back type as null. Go there. And then in the overview area, we'll be having a unit submitters, no fine. EA is a unit submitters. So go to the specifications and have a look at it. So in the manufacturing print is okay standard and then what about the whip is enabled for a back to back. The most no fine. All the back to back by transfers are make the building whip must be enabled just like in ABS also. Go down. And nothing else is there important now. And go to the inventory. In the inventory area, we must have the all three. Otherwise, everything is yes, yes, is okay. And then go to the sales and order management. And then I'm going to make a back to back by now and go there. So now enable this. 
So we will look back as Bible. Yes. <clears throat> and then I go to the planning. So this is only one I'm making a change after applying the template. So I go to the planning and then Mac to back buy and make is what? There are two options there. For transfers as well as buy, it has to be a buy now. Afterwards, I go down and then here I'm now making the MRP planning and that's more than sufficient. Now. And then I was asked to enable the calculate ATP as well as what the processing lead time because sometimes whenever you're performing a transfer, these uh, causes some problem. But again, they are basically only for planning modules actually. <coughs> Doesn't matter how you go to and then you go to the associations and then I have no associate to the child or 001. I'm going to associate with all of the organizations now. So, I'm sorry. So, you go to the actions now, click on the actions and then go to something like that. So, let me associate with 001. Enter it. So, it's 00 is the one of Seattle, fine, click on done. And then, the item is now created. And then, let us now give the list price also. I forgot to give the list price also. So, because since we are going to make a purchase of this hand that is coupled, and that will be defaulting onto the area now. So, I will make the list price now. Purchase price is 810 now. And that will be defaulting onto the purchasing area. So, give a save and close now. Before saving and close, what happens? We have to, uh, we have to do one more thing now. I have to change the categories also. So, I do the categories now. And the planning category has to be changed now. And only when you save, what happens? The category will be coming. Click on save now. Upon saving, what happens? You know, item is getting saved into both the arts now. The category is going to come now. So, we are working on the master. <coughs> so, normally all the catalogs are master controlled. And so, we can very well make a change on the master itself now. So, upon saving, the item gets saved and then the catalogs categories get assigned to all the functional areas wherever we are in it. So those catalogs are coming. And it is remember that whatever you keep only one catalog for all the functional areas put together. Right? Do not go for multiple things like what you see now. Right? Have only one catalog, assign them into all the functional areas. I have repeatedly told in my training now. So keep on the categories, go to the categories. And then the planning, what happens? You go to the planning catalog and then make a change of this one. The A01 and then give it a tab. So it's come to the one. A01 compared to the one. You are not changing the category of the planning. No, you just save and then save and close. So the item has been categorized for the planning as A01. Now let us go there and then make a BPA for this. Now I go to the procurement. So here I am now going to go to the procurement and then I will make a BPA. So now go to the purchase orders. Then we will create the market purchase agreement for this. Go there. <clears throat> Click on it. Create agreement. A blanket purchase agreement will be created for this particular item. So here, procurement BU is coming, not coming because what happens? I have not uh, made him as a procurement agent. I click on only when you made and I'm making the procurement agent first of all. Click on it. And then go to the and make announce. He is in fact a legal user, but he has not been made as a procurement agent because of it is not coming. The procurement BU is not coming. Click on search. Manage procurement agent. Already. So it does not make him as a procurement agent. Click on plus one. <clears throat> There's the SCM00 inspector of the one. So with which we will make it now. The procurement we use drop down and then I'm going to use one business unit. So agent is what? Last name comma first name. It is the inspector. The SCM00. So I get what I'm going to do. Last name is inspector first name one. And the account, the default one will be used business unit one. And then allow all agents to do it. Fulfill for other agents of So we don't interest in any purchase of this not to the others activity. So by which you know he has been made as a procurement agent and give us a second close. Now we can very well create a purchase order. Yes, very well we have to put it for And then we go to the procurement. And then we go to the purchase orders or purchase agreements, whatever it is, it is the same navigation. Click on the and then create an agreement. So click on create agreement. Now what are we going to see that BU coming up now? And previously the BU is absent actually. Now he being made as a procurement agent, we can go and see if Mandichi, we got the procurement agent and go there supplier. I will also say what ABC consulting is there. I will not choose the supplier. ABC consulting, I'm choosing it now. And then we'll pick it later. So the supply side everything is coming here. Click on create now. Then I'll wait and wait.
So the blanket purchase agreement is under creation. This is for an automation. So what, when you when you what happens if you push it into that supply chain orchestration area, the system will be automatically creating a PO. So for which what happens? So you know you are now creating a BBL. So once when the BP is in place, so the entire automation will be affected immediately. <coughs> So for the first time you are doing it after a long time so what happens is taking a longer time now so once the baby is made we have to put the buyer on the configured procurement business function or otherwise on the manager uh, what is called buyer assignments in one of the places we are doing it or on the item in one of the three places we do it for the automation will be affected actually and then let us output the item over here now so the item is a01 and then give it a tab I don't be normally and again also the price is also the default over here that's 10 so it's not coming maybe because of some problem i don't understand why but i will give a price of 10 and then click on the edit line i have already uh, selected the org for assignments maybe that will be a reason that the child org i will give it sure about it so he is now giving an offer now find the plus you find the supplier is saying if you buy more than 100 I will now give it 25% discount. The organization is 001. And then the location is Seattle. Me. So remember the discounts are all location specific. And then we are not putting more things on more than 100. You are now giving a 25% discount. So the discount is 25. And then you can now see the price, unit price getting changed automatically. So if you make a SPO, the standard purchase order on this now, it can be, it can be automatic. So 52255 is the one that I'm going to open up a notepad and then note down these values now. It's a 52255. It's a BPA number. And then it will give a save and then go to, go to actions and then validate. You see that. So go to actions and then go to validate. It will now make a check of everything and then the health check is now basically performed and then it will now say whether if there is any errors or not. If there are no errors, what happens, you can very well do it or not and go to the manager approvals and see whether the owner can approve or not. So the person who is creating the document is known as an application developer. So whether an application developer can approve or not, we are going to make a look at it now. So once and then we will now submit it for approval. So 52255 will be submitted for approval and then now we are in the process of setting up the automation actually. I remember when now you're doing it, uh, you always give a start date as well as the total amount of time. So agreements need to be date effective actually. <clears throat> in EBIS, if you don't give it, whatever, there is some problem. I'm not sure about the fusion now, but it is always customary to have a practice. Of, a good practice is what give a date range of, or at least the start date. <clears throat> so now what happens is now going to have a look at the approvals now. Who is going to approve on it? So depending upon the approvals, <clears throat> we will now submit it actually. Since we are doing it on the instance for a longer time, for a long time, it takes a longer time to cache the screen actually. Although the application developer is not coming from another thing, I will not give a cancel. I will not put the date and start it today. And I am not putting an agreement amount. So the cumulative releases will be controlled by this amount limit actually, and not by the amount of agreeing amount. So that automatically gets copied into amount limit now. So 52255 is now submitted for approval. So after some time, what happens? We'll be getting up now. So it takes some time. Now we'll now go to the configure procurement business function and then see whether uh, the auto automation is affected or not. What is the server maintenance? <coughs> so configure procurement business function. Search and then we'll now go to the configure procurement business function. Let us now query your US1 business unit and then see whether the automation is there or not. Then you choose your US1 business unit. And then you know, okay, and then go inside. So to affect automation, the buyer must be available over here. If the buyer is not available, it will not work at all. So in the buyer's login, the SPO, the standard purchase order, we can find we have a Calvin dot available here. Now it's okay. So here also buyer. And so if required, what happens again? Put it on this one. It does not put inspector. ESCM 00. And I'm going to make a change now. So I'm going to put it back. Click on it and then order generator orders is enabled actually. So this is also must. And if these two things are enabled, it's okay, fine. It will definitely be automation is not fully set up. 
there is no need for sourcing rules as in sourcing rules etc as far as question is concerned from the release 19a onwards no point they have all bypassed everything now so only this is official actually so the automation has been set now and that you know like and then here the next activity is gop activity right? item is created we don't have any stock because we want to buy it now and then the automation and offer is it so we'll now go on and have a look at whether we can now set up the gop and so i go to the plan inputs now <clears throat> go there so uh, where exactly it is it? supply chain planning and then i go to the plan inputs now. so you go to the plan inputs now and then let's now try to what happens is see this now fine first of all we will see whether uh, we have the organization enabled or not whether it is a managed planning system it would have been enabled actually in the moment any issue at all so you choose the ops now fine ops is the one because since it is a vision instance i am just studying otherwise when you are working upon on your own instance you must have this kind of so you choose the ops over here and then i click on the manage organization list and go to the organization 001 now when organization starts with uh ca and then make a search now fine so is already here i mean sir so there is zero zero one save is already enabled there is no need to collect the master's data for your planning purposes no fine for a supply chain or only the chains are required master is not required so it's already done no fine so now we'll now go go to the gop area straight away now you go to the order management area and then go to the gop area click on it now. and then go there you go to the order management and then you go to the global order promising and then we'll now try to set up the atp rule <coughs> so we're going to have a look, look at the atp rule so if you go there click on it and then we'll now we'll go there and then create the atp rule so this time what happens i'm not going to create atp rule for a category actually thank you on the manager rules atp rule i'm going to create for a very thank you for plus number so <coughs> anyway it's not going to work now uh, so i'll now just put some demo here now and then here what i'm whatever it is no supply chain atp I go to the ATP rule and then see what happens. It's not going to work. I click on plus now. So if you go, then drop it down. I will now go to the category. So the category is what A zero one is a category. Fine, give it tab now. So it's actually not a category. It's a category or now. So okay, category is what is there? There's no category or combination. So item or is a more specific, and then category is more generic. Actually, fine. We are not giving it the category. It's not coming. So go on and make it. What needs to be collected actually. So now that you collect it, what happens? You will be finding this category coming up over here now, fine? In the planning area. So let's now perform a collection. Actually, right click and then duplicate it. So we are going to perform a collection. Issue. So we are now going to perform a collection. You go to the supply chain planning and then you go to the planning course and then let's now perform a collection of these categories. So we create an item as well as a category. So let's now go and collect both now. Click on it. So go to the collect planning data. So which we are going to collect both items as well as categories. Drop it down as OPS now. So here I'm going bring the item over here now. So items and then let me bring it over here now. And the categories. Categories is now catalogs actually. There is no such category here. So catalogs is there. So this much is sufficient. Now and the supply data. There is no supply at all because we don't have any on hand or any purchase orders and requisitions are there. But what happens? It is not required to be collected actually. Even without collection order, it is in the execution system. And so it will automatically now. No need to collect over here now. Uh, but if I, in the planning central, what happens? You need to collect. If you are using for planning central, it has been collected. But for a simple <coughs> demand supply man matching for our <coughs> sales orders, this is not required. We don't have any on and I'm not doing anything at all. Fine, that you know. So it's on a net change. We are doing it now. <coughs> Go down and click on submit. So the concurrent will not take some time. Now, and click on it. Now, giving a warning that we are not going for a what happens? A targeted correction. I'm going for a net change. Okay, R. Thank you. Nice. Accept it. The concurrents are running now. So we'll now right click and then duplicate and then have a look at the concurrent. So go to the schedule to process now. Fine, go to the tools and then go to the schedule to process now. So we go to the what's called tools and then the schedule to process is not enabled here now. Fine, this is another problem. So let's say enable the schedule to process for it now. Fine, we'll click on this icon there. Fine, and then we'll go to the tools and then enable the schedule process and then go okay now. So the tools will process. So the springboard has to be properly customized, otherwise you'll be finding a problem. Fine, click on tools and then you'll find the schedule process. Fine, click on it. It's not running. So let's now wait for some time. I'm going to pause the record, and then once it gets completed, whatever you know, go ahead on this. One. Now these concurrents have got completed, and then what happens? You go there, go to the area, and then here again, what happens? You go there and have a look. <clears throat> so you know, move on this place, and then manage the rules, and then let them now create the own. 
the manage ATP rules I'm going to create a room open I'm going to use zero one underscore and also ATP underscore room so I'm going to take the room and then for the description one and then you go to the criteria area and then or I'm going to select all those things fine uh, they are all required for transportation management and other optimization uh, techniques of uh, planning central but uh, we are now doing it now and, uh, so at a later time you may have to add more sources of demand and supply <clears throat> so in the beginning itself what happens you add everything and then you here you make it as a user defined and then go for next 100 days so the sales orders which are now due for next 100 days will be definitely be considered by this ATP rule actually and this much is sufficient this is not required actually they are required only for the planning purposes you go there and then here it is a supply chain ATP it is not a lead time based or infinite based it is a supply chain based click on ATP assignments and then now I will be able to complete the category one already collected and then drop it down to the least level now find the topmost one find the most one uh or other remember the atp rule only one of them will fire actually fine whichever is the highest will be firing and you click on a01 and then you would have now so the computer has to come up and then you can make a search so click on search now <clears throat> we'll be having so remember we are now made a planning category for this number and click on okay number and remember we cannot do for item level now item levels is a view huge you know right let us say 10,000 items are for a back-to-back -back, and then they fall in five categories category level is the best level actually fine 10,000 items you cannot make an entry and then there are no FBDA available for import into the ATP rules now, right? so manual entry is very difficult you may have an excel sheet import time for the actions but you can choose also one so, so the best uh, solution is to what go via category section. So I have not given a category of A01 computer span give a same and close now. We'll go there and then let us now create two rules now. I'm not going to make a sourcing rule. So there are three activities are there. One is the manage ATP rules, and then the second activity is sourcing rule now. And go there, we'll not get the sourcing rule. You go to the manage sourcing rules now and we'll not create the sourcing rule. <coughs> so click on plus now. So we are now going to make a global buy. Go there. It's a A01 underscore global. This is a global and it's not a local. No, I'm going to click on plus and I'm going to so I'm doing it and I'm going to go down and then in the actions, uh, the add a row and then here we put the add a row. So the type is what? Buy from and then the supplier is ABC Consulting. ABC and then I'm going to tab now. So I'm going to choose ABC Consulting and then I'm going to click on the supply side to be coming. Drop it down and then choose it now. And then the source supply side is OPS. So which is the obvious one. All occasions 100 percent and then the rank is one. So this much is sufficient. So we are now made a global sourcing rule for this now fine for buying it now. So give a save and then save and close now. And then next is what we go there. We'll now create a transfer now. I'm going to transfer to the customer at different click on plus now and we'll now make a transfer. I will now say a01 underscore transfer to customer. So this what happens? We're going to make a transfer now. So transfer a customer so put a copy of it in the description and here i'm going to give a plus now <clears throat> so the data is coming fine click on plus now i'm going to make a transfer now so here you know made a buy and i'm going to go to for transfer now so transfer is organization from 001 i'm going to transfer to the customer that's all I'm going to click on 100 and then one that's sufficient so we have now made a global transfer to customer actually i'm going to click on second close now so the two rules of a global buy and then a global transfer is now ready i'm going to click on second close now We'll now go to the assignments also. So before we go to the assignments, what happens is we have a yeah, one uh, one uh, what is called one profile is there. So that profile has to be properly set now. Fine, we'll click on it. Let us now go to the profile and then have a look. We'll just set up a maintenance now. <clears throat> and then let us now go and then have a look at the profile now. So before we go there, we have to have the assignment set ready actually. Fine, we have to have the assignment set ready. So let's go there and then prepare the assignment set and afterwards come out of the profiles actually. So uh, we'll know how to go and then uh, you go to the order management and then you go to the global order management and then let us now create the assignment sets and then afterwards we'll now go and then set up the profiles properly. So let's go there and then do it now. <coughs> so you go to the manage assignment sets and then click on plus and then I'm going to get assignment set. So it's a E01 underscore assign underscore set now. So all caps doesn't matter. Take out it and put the description. And that's it. I will now give a save and close now. Yes. The assignment set is now made without any entries as such yet. So we'll now go on and set up the profiles now. It's an admin profile now. 
going up sort of that deep top end. So click on it. And then you go to the setup and maintenance. Click on it. And then click on search. So it's a managed bin profile. So go to here. It's called MSP default assignment set profile. It's all in caps now. It must be percentage. Default percentage. So go there. I'm gonna make a change of the top and drop under XS. I'm gonna change it to A01. So my assignment set and change. So this is now pointing to my assignment set. In fact, what happens in reality, you will be having only one assignment set in the field now. You can see one close. So, so having done this, what happens? We go there and then we'll again go to the place and then we'll assign the areas. You can do it zigzag also. Fine. Not necessarily. This is order only. I'll do it. First, fill up everything on the assignment set and afterwards, what happens? You can go there. So let us now query for it. Now I go there. So A01. <coughs> So let me make a search now. It will be available. So click on search now. So it will be showing up. Go there, click on it. Now. Go on that. Yeah, anyway, no, 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 no. So in this place, uh, this is the assignment set actually. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just taking it. Where are you? I'm the place in the first one. I'm in the, in the wrong area actually. So the item has come fine. A01 B2B item. Uh, B2B item has come fine. I made a search on it. Whatever. We got the item in the plan area. So that's also that because it's corrected and so what happens, that's why it came actually. So as soon as it is corrected, it came out, it's okay. So give a cancel now, no, go there. And then <coughs> we'll go to order management and then you go to the global order promising and then we'll move on to the assignments. So the profile is now pointing to our assignment set now. You click on it and then here we go there and then create the entry on the assignment set. What happens place and then we'll go to that. Manage assignments. <clears throat> Manage assignments. So let us now query for the A01. No comment. Fine. Click on it. So the first one is we are going to make a buy now. Fine. Click on plus one. Fine. So on the category level, I'm going to make a buy. So it is a category and then what happens? Organization. I'm going to make a category and organization. So category is A01. So it's not coming because what happens? I'm going to the organization. 001 is the organization. And then afterwards, go there. A01 and then give a tab. <clears throat> Drop it down and then make search. Go there. So for this, the sourcing type is what? The sourcing rule. And then here I have a global buy now. My A01 and then I've got a global buy over here. So at the category level, we are now going to make a buy now. And then click on plus and then I'll go for a global level rule now. Click on plus one. And then go for a global level. Global level is the least one. And then here the topmost one now. In this place, if multiple assignments are going to be applied and then everything will get applied actually. So you have to see till fulfillment, all the things will be getting applied. So we already seen this in our training actually. So go to the sourcing rule and then here, you go the A01 and then give a tab. I will now put what the transfer to customer. And that's it. What happens? We are now set up the GOP properly. GOP is now fully set now. Fine. Click on set and close. Then again, what happens? We have to come over here and then do the collection now. So go to this place, go to the supply chain planning and then plan inputs and then it does not perform a collection now. Plan inputs. <clears throat> go there and then it does not collect it. Click on it and then go to the plan. planning collection. So this time we have already collected the item as well as your category is now fine. We had only collected the order orchestration reference objects. There's more than sufficient now. Fine, we don't want to collect it. So it does not submit it now. We don't have any on hand and so what happens? There's no supply sources are there. Click on S. So now the concurrent is running. We have to go on that monitor the concurrent. Click on S. So monitor the concurrent. So let's wait for some time and then again I know pause the record for some time. So the last set of concurrents are worker to delete stage data. They're running. So once I'm discompleted, we will not perform a refresh and start now. We will complete it. Click on it. So we will perform a refresh and start. So click on OK now. And then since I have not done the repression start for a pretty long time, I'm going to change all the parameters now. This 
refresh and start is basically refreshing and starting the GOP inline memory engine. So it's basically an online RAM. Okay? And so all the data which are there in your uh, planning area, which has been collected, so your collections will all be refreshed on the online memory so that order management will be able to make a promise based upon those numbers. So this is how the global order promising works. So the concurrent is not running. If I to wait for some time for these concurrents to also. <clears throat> so in the refresh and start uh, order promising server, the refresh order promising analytics is the last concurrent. So it has gone got completed. So let us go there and sign out and unsign it, and then we'll know and get the sales organization. So the collections as well as the refresh are being completed. So I'll go there and then we'll now create a sales order for this A01 back to back by. So click on create order. So we now click the standard order computer under the services and then let us know go ahead and create the order right. Go there and then here drop down and then choose the business unit first. This one. And then the computer customer is complete services and let us know. Populate it and I can now see the built account coming up automatically. No, I will not populate the item A01 <clears throat> back to back by. And since it is a back to back item, I mean, there is no need for us to give any warehouses at all. And that can be overhauled and then do the things now. <clears throat> so the computer is getting populated. The remaining fields are beginning automatically populated now. So I will not put the A01 among the time. So we don't have any stock at all. So now here, the price is not coming mainly because what happens is they have not given any all items price that will go there. And then it has now given all items price so that we don't have any problem on this. Okay. I will go to the order management and then I go to the, so the pricing administration will be your all items price of this. So no need to give any individual prices. We already seen the prices as well as advanced pricing. Advanced pricing to a limited extent, but not taken into extent. But the discounts have been shown to you. The range has been shown to you in the pricing review. Price break header range and then point as well as the price rate range and unit uh, as well as range and then uh, unit price and then block price is also shown to you during our pricing training. We'll now go and then query your price list and then add an all items price now. Go to the manage price list in this task carousel. <clears throat> so it's a corporate one, QIRP. Now click on search. So, yeah. so corporate signal prices are one. And then we'll open it up. And then we'll enter all items prices are one. We'll go to the all items area and then let me add a price. Click on plus one. So it's for units of measure as each. If I'm capping this small is one. For each and every units of measure we had to have a Click on the create charge. So for each and every UM, you need to have a price. So I will now give all the price of one. And then I will give the date over here. And the first date. And then for that, I'm going to click on save and close. So I'll then click on the click here. And I'm going to go there. In this place, I will now put a two quantities on your tab. Now, when you tab it out, the pricing engine will be basically examined actually when the prices come along. The prices come along. So the sale price has come as one now. You have to run it. So the item is now coming and we have a long go for the fight one list for this. But since GOP is fully set, what happens? It has to show me as no stock now. I'm going to give a cancel and then again come back. It has to show me as no stock. I why it's not showing. Click on create order. Drop it down and then I'll not choose the business unit again. Computer service and renders now. Computer service. <coughs> Now, let us go there and then populate our item over here. A01 on your tab. 
دستشون از نو استاپ میدونم یعنی استاپ بده So if this indication, it means what your GOP is now pop-up except right? it will be showing as in stock or out of stock when they can add more. So if I go into them, I'm going for it. So let me add. And then there is no need for us to populate any values because the GOP is now taking care of the complete fulfillment now through the managed ATP rules, the sourcing rules, as well as assignment sets with the profiles. So it's all done. So we will do no problem at all. And click on it. Here I will now say the date on which I need it. I'm going to make a small, small shift from one more. Today is what? Today is 6th and final day. I have no idea on 10th. Make a change at 6th. I'm making a change to 10th. That's it. One change I'm making, I'm serving it. So once when you submit it, what happens? The do will fire now. <clears throat> so once the do fires, you will now see what happens. Now. So here in this case, what happens? When the do is going to fire, and then here in this, uh, the do score is there, the document. You already have this document. So if you go on and see this extra shop, go there. So the do is the main process, the distributed order process, the score is a sub process. So the do will be firing the score because we have a back-to-back buy. -back for both back-to-back -back buy, and then back-to-back, -back, uh, or for all the three, you know, back-to-back -back buy, make and transfer, the score will be firing. So the score is going to ensure that material is available on the shipping order, and that is the purpose. Whereas the do will be making the complete completion. Right? Once the line state is closed, the do will be in place now. So once the line state closed, then afterwards its activity is completed. So SCO gets completed once when the item is available on the shipping arm. So this is the way it works now. So the order is now created. Fine, go there. Now see how the order progresses now. The score will be fired actually. Normal orders will be having a scheduling and reservation here. It will not be having a scheduling reservation. I'm not going to process that. The printing is coming. <coughs> Processing now. I don't think any approval is not to the actions. And then go to the system for the You can have a look at the fulfillment here. So what are the fulfillment lines here? Let me click on the fulfillment lines. And then go on and have a look at the orchestration plan now. Fine, in the schedule, it is not going to be reserved now. Fine, since the back to back is enabled, it will be going for request subject. It will be going for request subject. Okay. So the process will be changed actually. Once the schedule is completed, we will be going for a request supply. So that will be creating a SCO order now. The supply and orchestration order will be created now. So the scheduling has just started. So the SCO will now create. A requisition and then finally create a purchase order also because we have totally automated in the purchasing. So, since everything is automated, it will be creating a little bit. So, we'll wait for some time now. Let's see. Now we can see that the reserve, the scheduling is completed, the reserve will be getting changed to request supply. So, it is no request supply because it is a back to back. So for all the back-to-back, -back, what happens? You'll be having the request orchestration supply in the one, which will be coming on request orchestration supply. And then we can now see the SCO order will be getting created. The pass is now getting started. Now we go to the fulfillment lines, the back-to-back -back operation, and go to the fulfillment lines. And then the fulfillment, we can go to the supply details. We can now see the back-to-back -back is now getting going to be getting created. So the back-to-back -back is now getting created. So once that it goes to the awaiting shipping status, whatever we now see the SCO number coming up again. Because so we're gonna drop pressure when we see it. <clears throat> so go to orchestration plan and how it works. So the pass is now waiting. <clears throat> so the pass should not wait at all, actually. So the pass is waiting. Let us now uh, release the pass task actually. Fine. So there is some issue on the entire flow because of which the pass is waiting. So anyway, I'm not manually, I will now go on and uh, I will try to release the pass. You should not go to the waiting You should go to the complete distribution directly. 
There may be some problem because of which whatever you don't want to do. So we are going to pass on the order management parameters now. One zero zero six zero is the one. We are going to take it up. One zero zero six zero is the one. We are going to run the pass task. Release pass task. I am doing it now. So if you see in this area, if you go and how will get it done? What is the pushment? So if you go to the supply lines, <clears throat> there will be a date conflict or something like that. Yeah. So it is now going to ship only in the 2020 actually because of some uh, wrong settings. I'm not exactly sure. 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 I'm not exactly So now the release pass task has got circulated. When you go there and refresh it, the pass would have the pass would have <coughs> completed now. For the orchestration kind of how that it so the the pass will be getting completed. So because of the big difference between the request date and then the schedule issue date, whatever it is, got passed. Now. <coughs> it is still not coming up properly. <coughs> Actually, I made it for a wrong order. Actually, when it is a customer registry ID, and I have to run it for them. Nine seven three five four is the order number. Go there. So I'm running it. So now here we go the refresh it now. Now the pass task for the pass me. So it has got completed and then. It will be progressing to our machine now. We now start it, and then after we see the score order will be getting created. Now. So go to the full front, and then wait for the score order again. The back to back order number has to come now. In our construction plan, it has to go to awaiting shipping now. So it will be gone now. So click on refresh and see in the full moon area. <clears throat> so probably the purchase orders might not have been collected or something like that has happened. I'm not very sure about it. So let me run a complete collection and then refresh, and then I will now come over here. Okay? So uh, I will, uh, whatever I say, pass this record for some time, and then I will now perform a complete collection and refresh. Sometimes it is preferable to have one complete collection and refresh. Okay? You now, and the reference data I am not getting over here now in the face also. Because something not get collected, maybe the purchase order. I am not very sure about it. Uh, why it has given. Uh, what happened? The score order has not got created actually. So for which we are running a complete collection. So I have unscheduled it, and then I will now again uh, initiate a schedule lecture. So that way I will now try now. Yes, there is some problem which has happened on the scheduling. So let me again do the scheduling and then see now. So I'm given actions schedule and then I'm scheduling it again. I made a full collection and then a full refresh, and then it works. So that means uh, uh, what it is is uh, we have to have uh, the character. That is why it was giving you the error of what the dates actually. It was uh, giving you a date of uh, somewhere in January actually. We are in uh, September, so uh, that is the reason. <clears throat> so, click on the no create new sales order now. And how to get it out? It's progressing. So, click on create order. <clears throat> so, drop down the business unit first of all. Then, computer services and the one. I will not pop it. Item over here on A01. 
<coughs> and give it a apple. Since GOP is fully set, it will not say it's out of stock. Now. It will not go for some quantities. Now. And then click on add. And then I go to that place and then I'm going to make a change of the date. Now I'm going to have small six. And then I'm going to make it about 10 now. So on 10th, I need it actually. So we click on submit by which the system will now progress on this particular workflow. Now. <coughs> the do will now take care of progressing on this GOP area. <clears throat> so it's not confirmed. Refresh it. So have a habit of what happens running whenever you make a major setups, you make all collections on a net change itself is okay. And then go to the switch to processing. And then you go to the fulfillment lines. And then click on the do number now. You can see the orchestration plan progressing smoothly without any problem. So previously we had as it was getting stuck on the pass. So there is no setup issues, but the collection issues because of which I was doing. So since there is a GOP, it will now go for a request orchestration supply. So the pass has got completed without any problem. And you can now see the Gantt chart also becoming a properly fine. Tenth is the rate on which whatever is required, required actually. <clears throat> so if you go there, so it is going to start it. If you go to the fulfillment lines, we'll have a look at this. <clears throat> you go to the supply details. So click on the supply details on the fulfillment. You can now see the number will be coming. So uh, the scheduled arrival date is now 11. Fine. So we are now, he is now request on 10th and then it is now saying on 11th it's an arrival. So there is no problem at all in this place. So click on <coughs> the question. Now you got the order. Fine. The supply order has come. Fine. Previously the supply order was not coming. So if you click on the supply order number, fine, the score number. If I click on it, it is now saying awaiting supply actually. So it has now started. So it is in the requisition area actually. And since we have automated, the purchase order also will be created. So the purchase order will also be created. So if you go to the buy area and then have a look at it, coming. So documents are coming. So score can be seen right from the sales order, or otherwise, what happens again? And go separately and then have a look at it. So I'm not going to done, and then I come to the main sales order. So right click on the duplicate it. So let us now see the same score from a different area. I'm going to done and then come out of the next tab again. I will now click on the home icon. <coughs> But then, so let me click on the home icon and then I will now go to supply chain execution and then here uh, I will now go to the supply orchestration. And remember there are five roles there. So if you add all the supply chain five roles which I have mentioned in my training, fine. so this icon will be coming because this icon was not coming for my student in the uh, production instance actually. So it is because of uh, that mistake. So again, we are not uh, fully analyzed about uh, which role is going to do what. Fine, that also analysis has to be done. Fine, we're not getting the mood and time to sit and analyze it. So if any of you analyze all the five roles and then which is uh, responsible for what, it will be great actually. So click on the supply supply orchestration is nothing but supply chain orchestration actually. So click on the supply orchestration. Then for that, we can even put our uh, <coughs> reference number over here and then we'll make it going. And then I'm going to go to this layer. Click on the task also and then go to the manage supply lines. <coughs> So from here also we can do it. <clears throat> Either from the sales order itself, we can have a look at this now, or otherwise we can do it. So here uh, we have the supply order number, <coughs> uh, supply reference number, maybe the sales order number. 97356 now. 97356. So you got it. <coughs> so the reference number is the sales order number, so the supply number is coming. So it's a buy. It is in purchasing actually. It is on the ABC consulting. That's it. Everything is coming over here. Seven quantities there. And if you click on this uh, score number, it will tell you how it is progressing on this workflow. Score is a sub process of a do now. And then the purchase requisition is created. If you go to the execution documents, it will not show you how much it has now gone. Now. now the purchase order has to get created automatically because the automation is now fully in effort actually. <coughs> so we have to wait for some time and then click on the so in purchasing, it is not coming from the <coughs> purchase requisition there. And then the order number. Now we have to go on and receive it actually. And then we have to go get it as well. 
it's a 001 hall on which we are going to perform a reserve plan we are going to the <coughs> uh, area supply chain execution and then we go to the inventory management go there click on it so i'm going to go to the case i'm going to go to the reserves so if you click on it you know, get all the things now if you're getting stuck in the field please contact me so that whatever i'll be in a position to help you also so go to the inventory counts shipments everything you have seen up and we are going to the reserves now and then here we are going to go to the what's called receive expected shipments now <coughs> in this place i'm going to query on that po number so the po number you are going to query so go there and then click on again for a question on this one <coughs> the purchasing is there if i go through it the purchase requisition is there but the execution documents has to show me the purchase order also <coughs> So we can even go to the purchasing area and then also have a look at it. So that we will see 204041 is on. I will show you there also. Right from the duplicate. And then the purchase order also. We can have a look at it. Go to the procurement and then you go to the purchase orders now. Purchase orders. You go there and then click on the manage orders. And then I am going to query on the requisition number. So go to manage orders. And then let me query on the requisition number. <coughs> the requisition number is there. So it says what? The requisition number it does not show in my mind. Hello, my name is and then this area 204041 is the one. So let's go there and then query it. 204041 is the one. And then if you have closed it, what happens? We have to say yes. Fine. Then only what happens when you query it. Otherwise, you are no one that query. So the requisition will not show you the purchase order which has been created automatically. <coughs> so I think the automation is still going on. <coughs> it is not yet done now. So we have to wait for some time now. Actually, uh, I have gone there and then seen for the 70, the purchase order is created, but the approval has got rejected actually. So if you click on the status now, you see somebody might have set up the automation actually. So people are doing it wrong. Some the document got rejected. So let us go there and then have a look at it. <coughs> click on the open up the document. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to go into the edit mode and then see whether any approvals have been set on the click on actions and then go to edit mode. 1636, that is why it is not showing you as a document. If I click on the manage approvals, somebody might have set up the approvals a link because of which I'm getting rejected. So you see, there's nothing working, nothing is working. So somebody might have disabled it actually. There is no, uh, this thing is coming up, I click on cancel it. So it will go there and there. I'm going to duplicate and then we'll have a look at the approvals now. <coughs> click on it, manage document approvals, and click on set up the measurements. <coughs> go to the search area and then you go to the manage doc percentage, app percentage, and enter now. Manage percentage document approvals. Go there. So it has been disabled actually. And everything has been disabled. Somebody has disabled it. And go there, click on it. And then you see edit tools. And see big rule is there. Oh, but there are so many rules that have come in touch with the area at all. I will now go to the <coughs> parallel approval serial now. Click on edit tool. <coughs> Nothing is there. Let me create an automatic rule. Click on first rule. I will make, make an automatic rule. So tick the copy and then put in the description. <coughs> that rule always applies. And then I'm going to make it as automatic. Click on it. And then we go to the hand actions and then we can move on. So we have seen all the six levels of approvals actually in our uh, training on purchasing. So click on okay now. There's no getting in. And then click on save and close save and then what happens is deployed. So once it is deployed, what happens is it can be used by everybody. So click on it. So after deployment, if you go there and then see this place in the read document, click on the manage approvals. We have to get the application developer as an approval. That's why now taking some time actually. We have to wait for some time. I made another mistake. I have to enable this also. Enable. So let me enable, enable it. So click on that. Let me come back to Let me go there and then we click on theme and then I click on the manage approvals. So we have the application developer as an approval. So once the rule is deployed, it becomes eligible for it. And then remember, 
approvals are common across instances and then if you have multiple LEs and BOs, it's only a common area and then uh, through conditions only we have to segregate them. We call the application developer one that click on subject. So this is now get submitted. So now this will get updated on the SCO area. So 16, 36, 97 are the one. And that will be getting updated in the SCO area. <coughs> so we are done with. <clears throat> 16, 36, 97 are the one. And then we know requery again, the rejected will be coming as open. <clears throat> now I'm going to the pending approval. We'll click on the pending approval to show you how it's progressing in the approval path. Now, right? now you see application developer is approved and then the task is completed. So both of these are getting completed. So we'll click on done. So now you can see that the status will be coming to open. So click on search. Now this will be getting updated on the score area. This 16, 36, 91 will be coming as a score area. And we'll space. And then again, click on the refresh now. So go there. So the next document has to come over here. It takes some time. It's supposed to get updated. It took around almost two minutes for the thing to get updated over here. Now I can see the 16, 36, 91 will now got updated. Go to the orchestration plan. You can now see the requisition stated, purchase of stated. And then now no, start to receive it. The moment you receive it, the thing gets reserved against our sales order now. And so nobody can touch it actually. So yeah. We go there and then not refresh it and then let us go and then receive it. <clears throat> so the number is what if you go to the execution documents, you can see the number now. It is 1636 Then we go to the 1636 In the meantime, what happens if you go to the sales order area? <clears throat> uh, it's okay. <clears throat> you go on and have a sales order area. The manager will <clears throat> So it's uh, uh, the manager orders. I click on done and come out of the manager orders. I click on done. <coughs> <coughs> oh, it's not in this, in this order management. <coughs> is a managed supply lines only. You go to this place. Supply orders is coming here. You click on done now. This application order is done. So let us now try to go to the sales order number now. Find the uh, sales order nine seven three five seven. I think. Nine five three seven three five seven. I think. Go to this area. Nine five three seven. Nine five three five seven. Click on this order management area. Uh, so go to the order management. And then we go to the order management. And then nine five three five seven. And we go to the right. Nine five three. Nine seven three five seven. Nine seven three five seven. You can search now. Once you search for it, it was there somewhere, and then something has happened. Money supply line is there. Click on done. I don't know where exactly I lost this order number. 1636. 1636. I don't know. 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 And then we go to the advanced, <coughs> then uh, uh, the customer is computer solving is okay. Uh, because the previous order number I have read is 97357. 9735. Make a search. 357. I'm not showing you. It's not 357. It's a 9736. It is for the sound. The sound quality is not 7 years. It's not showing you. 7.6 right now. So you go to the access and then you go to the switch to click on the view and then have a look at it. So if you go and then see this is a supply area, <coughs> it now says still awaiting supply only. And then in the orchestration plan, we have already seen that uh, the one of them gone up to awaiting shipping. So the moment I receive it, what happens? It will now say goods available will be coming. In the orchestration, and there is no change at all on the purchase orders. That is what I'm saying. 
orchestration plan there is no change at all maybe the fulfillment lines i think it may be updated now but i'm not also not seen to that extent greatly you know see whether the purchase order number is updated somewhere or not fine can go to there uh, there is no such purchase order numbers or you know kind of so it's a back to back only but purchase orders are not getting updated when the shipping area the few numbers gets updated to be excellent actually try to find somebody if you find it out please tell me in the general area if it is there or not let's see not sure about everything so orchestration number all these things are coming but the requisition number and purchase order numbers are not correct okay let us now go on and receive it now what is place no wait wait <clears throat> so we now receive it so let us now go to the supply chain execution and then receive it now <clears throat> supply chain execution and then let us now receive it now we go to the inventory manager and now receive it Receives, receive expected shipments. <clears throat> then we now have this number now. Sixteen thirty-six ninety-seven. Sixteen thirty-six ninety-seven. Go on. Click on it. Go on. Click on search now. It is now available for receipt. Now, fine. Go on. Click on it. Go on. Now, go on. Receive it now. Go on. Click on receive. So we are going to receive it now. Seven quantity is the one. So I will not click on the show receipt quantity. It will not show you how much is expected from supplier. It will not show you anything over in the receiving area. If I click on fill receipt now, so we are going to make it as a point. We are now making a gate a GR receipt now. The shipment number is one two three. The bill number is four three six. So it is all value additions now. Once when you give it, when you make a report, it will be excellent for the team to analyze about how it has come, how many packages the number is there. <coughs> Then how many units of packing is there? Fine. All these things are value addition for you. Fine. Click on submit now. So give it, even though it's not mandatory. Can do it now. So it's not received. So the moment it is received in the inventory, we can even have a look at it via the manage quantities. We we'll go to this place. We we'll go to the inventory and then have a look at the manage quantities. So it's not in delivered actually. And we are deliver it also. So it is not deliver it also. So we are deliver it. We we'll go to the receipts and then it is not deliver it. <coughs> You go to the put away now. So go to the put away and then receive it. Go to the put away receipts now. And then go there. So receipt number is not in purchase order number is no more. Sixteen thirty six ninety seven. Sixteen thirty six ninety seven. Not no more. The year and number actually. Now we are going to click on it. Now do the put away now. Seven corner is seven is there. Fine. Click on submit. Which we had to provide the submittery also to where it is received because it's now delivery into the submittery. Fine, go there. Click on submit now. Put away transaction on screen. Now, having done this, we go there, and now uh, it's now fully received. Even if you open up one of the, it will not show you on the right hand side. The analytics will now tell you about how it has progressed on this now. Fine, as you see, ordered, received, and then delivered. Everything is not showing on the analytics actually. Now we will now see on the sales order. We will go to the sales order. <coughs> uh, nine, nine, seven, three, five, six, the one point, click on refresh. Now, now it will now say the goods are available actually. Go there and have a look at it. Now it will now say the goods are available. If you go to the supply details, then have a look at it. We are going to ship it. So click on it. Awaiting supply, fine. The goods availability has to get updated over here. And done. So we are going to have a look at it. So click on it, and then if you go to the orchestration plan, so now we can see it's now reserved, and then put away is also done. Now put away done. Now only fulfillment is now balance actually. So this will be a getting the score has got completed. Only the do part is the fulfillment of it now. Fine, fine. Do has to now. So the fulfillment quantity is seven is now also getting now inventory is available. The do order is now showing you. Click on the inventory is available. Previously it was in requisition and then in the purchasing. Now inventory is available. Fine, click on the now fine. The score has completed the activity. It has now made the material available on the shipping sub inventory. Now it's done. Goods is available. Now we have to go on and ship it only. So the order number is what? So nine seven three five six is the one. So it does now go and then ship it now. <coughs> so done. <coughs> and then we'll now go on and ship it. Again, go to the supply chain execution. Go to the supply chain execution. And then I go to the inventory management. And then we're going to perform a shipping now. So we have seen the PR and the PC process in our order management training. 
So we'll now go to the PS. We'll go to the shipments and then query the sales order. You go to the manage shipment lines. <clears throat> so the number is what? 97356 actually. 97356. Okay, I'll search. <clears throat> Sometimes it doesn't work, man. You have to make it as a before and all, man. So the nonsense field actually. They're given such a thing. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to press another name. I'm going to click on search now. <clears throat> they should have removed this field actually. I don't know why it's coming out of So it becomes eligible for shipping now. So we are going to perform a quick release as well as a ship confirmation now in this. So it's still working. <clears throat> So once that it works, I'm going to show you okay, fine, go, that. go to the actions and then you go to the pick release now. So we are now picking it. We can even do a pick and ship together actually. It can be totally automated. So the control is now running. So once it is running from a ready to release status, it will be going to the staged status now. Save and close. It will go into the staged status. And then the <coughs> shipment number will also be getting created over there. The shipment number has to come out. You know that come. It's now still ready to close. So then click on search. Go there. Now it's staged. So you can now see the shipment number. Thank you. And then we will now perform a ship confirmation. <coughs> So we want to click on the ship confirmation directly. So from ship confirmation, the send shipment advice will be interfacing this to the order entry now. Seven close now four six. We enter the number shipment number, and then we now ship. Then the send shipment advice will be running. So upon completion of the concurrent, you can now see the sales order going to ship and then awaiting billing. <coughs> And then we want to click on refresh now. So 97356 is the one click on refresh. So once we refresh it, the sales order will be going, progressing to what ship then and then on a right click now go to the awaiting billing. Now it says it's now shipped now. So we will click on it now. Go down and then if you click on the orchestration number, now you can now see that all the activities about do has got completed now, right? The do is now completed. But it is. It will now get completed only when the line gets closed. No? Only when you create a AR invoice and you when you import and then do it, then only whatever it gets fully completed. So from the scope point of view, it says that whatever the fulfillment completion is. So fulfillment completion is also showing over there in the <coughs> scope area. I click on them, and then afterwards it will now progresses to awaiting billing actually. So this completes a back-to-back -back cycle for a buy actually. Now we'll now come to the problematic one. So let me give a done open. It will be going. And probably some uh, automation has not been uh, has been fiddled around in the AR, then it will not go to awaiting billing. Otherwise, it has to go now. Click on done and go to the main area. So ship and then it has to go to awaiting billing. If somebody has fiddled around on the AR setups, then it may not even go there at all. <laughs> So once we do the awaiting billing, what you have to do is we have to do the import of the invoice. Now we'll now come to my student's problem. Now does not have what happens is stop. If you go and then done it. And then if you go and then have a look at the stock person stock. You go to the supply chain execution, then I go to the inventory management. <clears throat> okay, you click on it, and then here you go there. And then I go to the inventory. And then manage item quantity is the area. And then I will now put the item over here. Here is the one we need to have. So click on search. So all the seven quantities have been shipped, and so there is no, no quantity. So let us now receive some 10 quantities. Click on let us now receive some 10 quantities. Click on let us now make a create miscellaneous transaction. So normally the stocks will be coming through either purchasing or manufacturing. And so in this case, so we will now reserve the money. So click on account, and then I will now choose some combination over here now. To perform a result, you click on search. It will show you some combination. Choose some combination. In reality, it will be given with the financial state. 
Something is happening in the system, but it's not showing me the item. If you go there and then click on it, click on the more information, it shows the item. I don't know why it's to content. Now, the Z 10th one is over here. I'm clicking something at the 10th one is over here. Somebody can click. So the transaction is complete with no issues. And then you go to the manage item on this. Go to now let's go there and then have a look at the stock. Let's go to the inventory and then go to the manage item on this. So it's a E01 and we'll go down. Now click on search. Now the customer wants six quantities. The item is a back-to-back -back buy. That's what we want to see. But how is going to be here? Go on that. We had a sales order for this one for six quantities. So since we have sufficient stock, it will not be interface to purchasing at all. So click on create. So the GOP will now make a check of it. Right, whether we have a stock or not. And then the stock has come. And so what happens? We have to uh, perform a real time update also. When there's one more concurrent here, run no point. So that what happens? The stock will be sensed by the system as such. So let us not run the real time update. So to this place, and then go to the tools, and then here I go to the schedule process number line. So there is no need to collect and refresh as far as the, the supply data is concerned. And for which we can run the real time update. So percentage real percentage update now. Real percentage update percentage. So start real time supply update. So click on submit. <clears throat> so it is now completed actually. Uh, now let us now make a sales order. So this will now uh, be uh, basically uh, maybe there may be some warning, it doesn't matter, fine. It will not. Okay. So it will now go to the sales order and I'll click on it, drop it on. Now the system, the order management will now sense the stock actually. Go to this place. <clears throat> and then we'll like, populate the item over again. Click on it. So E01 and one thing at a time. <clears throat> so it's not saying out of stock now. Uh, uh, it has to sense actually when is actually stock is available and now go to quantity of six actually. This is where the problem comes in. Why is not showing me the stock actually? Fine, that's to show me the stock now. Yeah, now perform the real inventory. Maybe I may have to log out and log in or what? Let me log out and log in and see. So the stock is not shown. So this area is slightly gray for me, and then I'm not uh, very clear upon this. And there, my student is also struck actually. <coughs> no, sorry. Mm, what a moment. And then we go to order management. So click on create order. The computer service is rendered. It's easy to get happy. And then go for it. Okay, six quantities. It has to show me as a stock point. Somebody analyze about why the stock is not shown. Fine. What is the setup which is missing in GOP? Fine, that is another problem. And then go there. So since we have a stock, it should not get interfaced to what happens. Purchasing at all. Uh, and then go there and then click on save and then click on submit. So the order is not producing now. 
you know, see about how it progresses. So in this case, what happens, it should not create any supply order at all, because since we have what is the stop, stop is there. So we go to actions, and then go to the subscription, and then we go to contract action. So go to the fulfillment lines, and have a look at it. <clears throat> you know, see about how it's progressing on the workflow now. It has no schedule, and then I'm going to the request supply actually. So it's a certain request is known then. So what is the pass has started and then got completed also. So click on the question. So the order management will be sensing a stock of 10 now, and then we want only six as such. You know. And again, I say it will be going to wedding shipping. In this case, <coughs> we don't want to do So we don't start it. Our wedding shipping has come now. So click on profit again, and then the wedding shipping. So let us go to the fulfillment lines now, and click on the fulfillment lines. So click on the supply areas. So now it is not showing us abiding supply. It is not so at all. It is not really abiding supply. It is now eligible for a ship as such now. It should not create a requisition at all. It happens basically, but uh, I don't know why this time what happens it is not going to the school area now. And it should not even create this at all. Or here itself, it will not show you that what happened the requisite quantity, it may be available as such. It may not be creating a purchase requisition, just go. What is it? Click on refresh now. Click on refresh now. <clears throat> so it, it should not create any purchase requisition at all. No buy as well. Requisition create the overall. This should not happen at all. So that means what the system has not sensed the quantity at all. So uh, my real time supply update has not really worked actually. It should not be going over there at all. So what I will do is now I will now make uh, what happens here full flow of this. Now I will now do a collection and refreshment time because it is not sensed this at all. So let me go and then make a full uh, collection because normally the real time update should have done now and that is not done in the They not done the job. <coughs> so let us now perform a full collection and perfection. I go to the supply chain planning and then I go to the planning inputs and then let us now perform the full collections. And then I click on the correct planning data. <clears throat> Make it as an OPS now. Go down. And then here on the supply side only, we have to collect it. Now. I will not come down. So let me come down. Nothing else is required. I'm going extra on and as we have to click on something now. <clears throat> it will not run for some time. And then I will not refresh the on and also on the GOP area. Now this has got completed. Let me run the refresh and start now. So only on hand has to be updated. Myself only on hand. Again, click on something. Now it has got completed now and it has not go there and then make a new sales order. So it should not be interfaced to <coughs> purchasing at all. We go to the order management and then we go to the orders now. Order management and order management. And then we are now creating a new order now. So click on create order. Drop it on. Here's my business unit. So it's a computer service and then it's not. 
So it must be what happens interfacing it to shipping execution and not to purchasing actually because we have a separate stock on this one. So click on okay. And you can now see you go to duplicate and then have a look at this item mm -hmm. stock now. <clears throat> If you go to the supply chain execution, then you go to the inventory management. Go there. And then click on the manage item quantities. So we have a 10 stock now, and out of which 7 will have to get reserved now. Right? Click on search now. So it has to get reserved. Expand it. The organization level. Go there. Click on the view item availability. The seven quantities has to be preserved now. I mean, not a preserve actually. Maybe it's still producing, maybe no, so you no. know, go to refresh now. <clears throat> Open actions and then you go to the switch to full point view now. So now the reservation is not happening. Yeah, that's the thing. I have seen that well, I mean, the reservation doesn't happen actually. It has to reserve it. And then you go further now, just click on it. So reservation, that is what my student is having a problem actually. He's not getting resolved actually. So now, if you click on refresh now, the supply request is now complete. And that's a good habit. There's no one habit to be. So if you go to the fulfillment lines, <coughs> and then you go to the supply details, fine. You should not get this at all. And this awaiting supply should not come at all. I don't know why the problem is not. It should never create any requisition record because we have a supply, and so it has to follow that supply. Yeah. So let us now go to the shipping execution and straight away see you now. I keep on looking at whether it is now eligible for you because it is now goods are not available and so it will never go there at all. We don't have a go to the support and execution and then go to the inventory management. Manage place. And then I will now go to the ship and so and then query for the sales order. <coughs> so nine seven three five eight is there. Go to the management lines. Nine seven three five eight. Nine seven three five eight is there. I will not put before some dates again. So take on search. So it is now available here. And even though it says what happens, it is now interface to purchasing. So it is now available. But since the quantity is not reserved, and the quantity is not reserved, if you click on again search now, the quantity is not reserved, it is not picking at all. This is where he got stuck actually. So click on the view availability. Item is not reserved. It is not reserving it at all. But if you go there and then do it now, fine. There may be some setups which may be missing. Fine. So go to the actions and then go to the launch button. It is not picking at all. It is not picking at all. So go there. And then he is doing it now. <clears throat> this is where he is stuck actually. So he goes and then makes a manual reservation. So there may be some setups which may be missing on the GOV area. So he is now struggling on the client's friend actually. Fine. If anybody knows about how to do it, please inform me so that what happens, I will know. Correct the GOP setups actually. So we are all totally new to GOP and then uh, that concept is not very clear at all. So you go there and then give a save and close now. Fine. It would not have got picked at all. Expand it. And then make a search now. <clears throat> now it is now still ready to release one. Fine. It is not picked at all. And if you go and then have a look at what about the duplicate and then have a look at that. Concurrent now. Just have a look at the concurrent now. It would have failed or some some problem or other. I'm going to schedule process. I'm going to see. 
in the first place. And it has now ended up in a warning, and so it has not succeeded at all. So what he does is he goes and then make a manual reservation for the same day. So the reservation is not happen, and so so this is the order number of nine seven three five eight is on. So what he does is, and that is not the correct practice because when you have this huge amount of sales orders, what happens? It should get automatically resolved. So the subsequent execution number here, what happens? It goes and then it gets on. What happens? So subsequent execution, subsequent execution. And then we go to the inventory manager. He makes a manual reservation for us. Click on it. And then we go to the what's called inventory. And then we go and then have a look at the manager reservations area. And then the reservations and takes one. So he will now make a search on this item. Here we don't want to know that. And click on search. <coughs> So it's not showing on the organization can expand it. Item is there. So it shows you the sales orders number of times. It's all old sales orders actually. <clears throat> so if you have a look at it, nine seven three five nine is not there. Fifty eight is reserved now. So our sales order number is nine seven three five nine. Is it? So nine seven three five eight. I think nine seven three five eight is there. So the seven quantities. It shows you the reservation. Nine seven three five eight. It's not showing the reserve quantity, but I don't know the reserve quantity is seven actually. In demand and then it has no reserved it actually. But even then it is not picking. It is not picking. Nine seven three five eight. So let us now go and then create a reservation over there and then how it. Click on reservation. And then item is what? And then I make a search now. So if you see nine seven three five eight, the reserved quantity is also shown here. I don't know why so. Not reserved. So it has to pick at you. Nine seven three five eight. Nine seven three five eight. Is for some kind of this. The quantity is reserved now. White showing awaiting awaiting supply actually. And then the manage item quantities. If you go on and make a search now. Click on it. Come on. Click on the new item. What are you looking? See, the thing is reserved actually. It is not the reserved at all. No reservation has happened over there. But there it is not showing you the reserved actually. Some one is not showing. So if it is reserved, it really picks actually. But it is not really. It is a back-to-back -back enabled is coming, and the quantity is now coming as a seven now. Item is a back-to-back, -back. and then. Yet it is not showing as reserve now. One point one. Document number reservation document number is coming now. So the document type is what purchase order. I mean, against which uh, a purchase order has got created actually. It is not created a purchase order for which order is now reserved now. So there is no manual reservation. Right? There is a purchase order reservation. Actually. It is not a purchase order reservation. Fine. Let us now try to reserve the on-hand stock and click on, the, and then I will now go to the actions of the purchase order reservation. And I will now go and then click on plus now. Then. So I will now try to reserve the on-hand. So click on it. So I will now go and then click on search. Now. <clears throat> it is now create a purchase order. I guess my order will go there. I will now reserve the quantity seven. Now. We have on-hand is ten. I guess which order I am now reserving seven. Now. And click on again. Now the on-hand gets reserved. So we are now in the online reservation, and then click on save and close. So it's not done. Click on create reservation again, and then look query for it. Now you see query for item A zero one, and then you have it. So click on search. It should not have interface to that area at all. So nine seven three eight, and there are double reservations are happening. So one is there's seven here. 
you know, it's showing only the purchase order reservation and not my manual reservation of 1738. 14 is now reserved in total. Uh, again, it is not coming properly. Yeah, it's not showing properly. So on end is now reserved. Now, if you go and then pick, what happens? It is able to pick. Then you now have a look at the reservation here also. So the seven level reserve. So that it should not have got interface to purchasing at all. Fine. There is some setup which is missing. Fine. That is why what happens here? He's using a raising problem. So now, now three is only available. The seven has got reserved. Now, if he goes and then picks, it is not picking. Go to the action and go to pick release now. And this time, what happens is not picking for it. That is what he's saying. So he is manually reserving every time. And that is not possible on so many sales orders on a day. When the stock is there, it should automatically reserve that stock. And so some setup is missing on this one because of which it is not happening. It is, it is now routing to purchasing and that is not correct at all. I think for him, it is not routing to purchasing, but uh, he's saying that this is a problem. And now it has got staged. Now it has got staged. This is a problem he's facing. Now he will be in a position. So this has to be automated. The reservation has to be automated. It should never interface to purchasing. So this is where the problem comes in. And if anybody knows a solution for this, now fine, please uh, inform me. So because he is already struggling on the field, now fine. Uh, convincing a customer with the manual reservation is not correct actually. When, when you have a stock, it has to get reserved automatically. And then uh, uh, one more thing is what happens. Uh, I think it will now we'll now see a split is happening or not. Fine. We have a three available now. Fine. Electric one, no fine. Electric one. So you now let us now go for the 15 quantities. So we'll now create a sales order of 15 quantities. We will now have a look at it. We'll go to the order management and then we we'll go to the order management. Let us now see a split happens on the uh, uh, what's it called on the SCO area. On the SCO area, the SCO still has to happen. So we have a three available now. Fine, one uh, already seven is picked, and then it is now reserved for a customer actually. So three are available. Fine. <clears throat> Company service in this. And then the split will not be happening here in the sales order line because of the So we have a three corner. The split has to happen on the SCO area. You know, see whether that happens or not. I'm not sure about it. So let me submit it. So the entire quantity need not be purchased. So we have to only purchase 12 now. Fine. If it, that, that happens, that means what the setup is perfect actually. Or otherwise, something is pending on this. <clears throat> And I click on the orchestration number. So it is supposed to be now. Uh, it will be progressing to. The score will be. We can now have a look at the score. The score, the split has to happen actually, because we have it on and of three, and then it has to only create a requisition for twelve actually. So go to the full time Then go there. It has to go down to be. Now we we'll must see the score orders now. There or not. It has to come down. So the score orders come now. Thank you on the score order. You we'll must see it has to split as a 12 and 3. If it flips, and that is a perfect moment, it is not splitting at all. You know, see, refresh and see <clears throat> any split is happening in this moment. So, three, we already have it now, fine. So, that three quantities has to be sensed now, fine. The entire quantity should not go into the purchase position at all. So the system has not sensed my three quantities now, fine. But I think for him, uh, uh, the split is happening, I think. I'm not sure about it. But uh, here, there may be some setups which is missing. So, because of which, what happens? For the entire quantity, the purchase position is complicated. Uh, 
and then the purchase order also will be getting created also this is not correct actually it has to sense it and then it has to i have seen a split also uh, in uh, some other demonstration whatever i have seen the split happening here now but i don't know now it's not happening i don't know what's missing here now <clears throat> but the problem is what uh, the real problem is what the reservation is not happening and so picking is failing for you so that is the real problem for you the reservation trap now the purchase order is also got created <clears throat> So somebody knows about how to do you know, the entire 15 quantities of purchase order scale. I, mean, I, I found that a split happens now, basically. In some of the one of the trainings, I have seen that the split is happening. Maybe because of what happens, uh, the system is on vision, and so what happens, uh, everything is not gone. Probably I have to what happens, uh, run a full collections and refresh actually. Only on and I collect and refresh. So that may be the reason because of it, what happens, I'm not exactly sensing it now. So that may be the reason, but the reservation fails. There are the, it doesn't reserve at all. Fine, that is the real problem. So if anybody one of you knows about uh, this problem, and then if you can highlight me regarding this uh, GOP setups also, it can be great actually. So people are still struggling on this area. <clears throat> so it's a very long video actually, and <laughs> I've demonstrated a lot now. So I was trying to simulate the situation, but uh, not exactly, uh, it didn't succeed exactly. Fine. So try and then see if any other setups are missing on the GOP, fine, please inform me. So write to me at nana.oraclenana.com <clears throat> for any uh, of your learnings and then please teach me on this one. So bye for now and then I'll see you on the next video.